So whenever you are graphing sine or cosine, we always start looking at the parentheses here. And in this case, uh, it says 2x plus pi. We actually need that to be factored out. So we're going to factor out the 2, so it's just x plus whatever. So when we factor out the 2 from pi, it becomes pi over 2. And now that's going to help us with our phase shift. And this is B, which is our uh, period changer. And then the 1 minus 2 cosine, that's our vertical shift and our amplitude. So amplitude comes from the number in front of the trig function. So the amplitude is 2. The negative is just a reflection. It's not really part of the amplitude. If you wrote negative 2, it's still OK. The period comes from B, which is this number here in green. Period is always 2 pi over B, so 2 pi divided by 2. Period is pi. The phase shift, that's uh, the number in parentheses with the X, plus pi over 2 means it's shifting to the left. Pi over 2. And the vertical shift, that is the constant that's by itself, the positive one, so that's shifting up one unit. So shifting up one unit, that's our vertical shift. So we're going to start by drawing a horizontal line that goes through that shift up one unit. This is our midline for the function. Then we're going to take amplitude of 2, and that means from that midline we go up 2 units and down 2 units, and that's going to contain our cosine. Two units and down 2 units. A shift is left pi over 2. That's the first point that we're going to plot. This is a negative cosine, so that means the graph is going to look kind of like that. So the first point we plot is going to be on the bottom, the lowest point. And we're shifting it left pi over 2. Left pi over 2 at the bottom. That's our first point. For all the other points, we're going to take the period, which is pi. Looking at our graph, pi is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. From 0 to pi, that's 4 units. And then to help you graph, you always take the four units divided by four because there are four quadrants, four parts to the graph, which means every key point for cosine is going to be four divided by four is one unit. So all those key points, the bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, those points are all going to be one unit spaced out. So we start it from the bottom. Now we're here. We go one unit, put our next dot. One unit, put our next dot. All the way through the entire graph. One unit, next dot, go in both directions. And then draw the curve that connects all those dots. All the points. Then down at the bottom, that's actually supposed to say sine because it was a cosine. We're going to rewrite the function in terms of sine. Uh, you could either do positive sign or negative sign. I'm going to choose positive sign. 
because it's just easier, I think. It doesn't really matter, though. So positive sign starts at the middle, goes up, down, and back to the middle. So when we're looking for positive sign graph, we're starting in the middle, going up. So not this one. That could be a starting point. This could be a starting point. This could be a starting point. Or that. Any point that's on the midline going up could be a starting point for positive sign. So all of those are the possible starting points. Our equation for sine is going to be very similar to our equation for cosine. You're going to start with the midline. The midline was 1. And we're graphing a positive sign, so it's going to be plus uh, sine. In front of sine, we need the amplitude, which is 2. Then factored out, we're going to put the B, which changes the period. Remember from before, that was B was 2 right here. B is 2. And then inside parentheses, we just put whatever the shift is that we're going to use. So that number is going to change depending on which of these red points we choose. If we choose this one, which is shifted left, uh, that's halfway to pi over 2, so that's pi over 4. Shifting to the left would be plus. Or we could choose this one over here, which would be shifted left. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fourths. This would be plus 5 pi over 4. Everything else would stay the same. Or you could choose one of these starting points to the right. You can shift it to the right, which would be minus. This is 1, 2, 3 fourths. Minus 3 pi over 4. Or you could choose this last point, which would be 4, 5, 6, 7 pi over 4. Any of those, it doesn't matter. You choose the starting point and you write the equation. Saturate one. Any of those would be fine.